In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make an eye cord that you can use for really skinny, flexible limbs and amigurumi. I've used them for my little olive to give a super cute rounded limbs that are really easy to make. So if you wanna learn how to make this, keep watching. I'm using Paintbox Cotton Erin yarn. It's a worsted weight yarn. And I like to use a hook that's smaller than what I would usually work with. So you can use a 2.5 hook or even a 2.25. The tighter the hook, the tighter the eye cord. It is difficult to get even stitches for the eye cord. That's the hardest part is achieving the tension. So I will show you a couple tricks for how I do this. First, you're going to start with a slip knot on your hook. So I take my yarn tail and wrap it around my two fingers and go under and over and pull up a loop. And then I pull both yarn tails tight and then I pull the working yarn which is connected to my yarn ball tight onto the hook. Now I'm gonna chain three. So yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So now I'm going to pick up a, a loop from each of the chains. So I'm gonna insert, yarn over, pick up a loop. Insert, yarn over, pick up a loop. And now I have three loops on my hook. So this is the tricky part. You need to slip the last two loops off of your hook and kind of pinch them so that they don't come unraveled. Then with your yarn, you're going to make a chain um, with the one loop on your hook. So I've pinched the last two. I have my yarn back here and I'm kind of folding it to bring it around and make it tight. So I've chained one. Now I'm gonna collect the second loop, put it back on my hook. I'm still pinching the third one. Yarn over and bring it through the loop. I like to do this slow because especially with this yarn or any yarn that's super stringy, I wanna make sure that I'm getting all the strings. Now I'm gonna do the final loop, put it back on. Yarn over and bring through the last loop. So that's my first row. I'm gonna repeat that process again until I get the amount of rows that I need. So I'll show you how to do it again. I take them off super carefully. See, already I pulled the yarn that I was holding too much. So I'm gonna Put them back on my hook and get the tension right. I'm gonna move that yarn to the back so I don't do that again. Drop the first two. Collect the yarn, pinch, and then get the tension after I've pinched. Bring it through. Put the next one on, yarn over, bring it through, yarn over, or put the last loop on, sorry, yarn over, and bring it through the last one. Do one more row with you, and then I'll just keep going and show you the end result. So I'm going to drop that yarn again. Drop them, the two loops, and kind of fold it. This is something that um, I think is really important because we don't want the back to be super gaping. So pinch, fold, yarn over, pull through. Put the next one on, yarn over, pull through. And then the third, yarn over, 
pull through. You can see the shape taking place. It's three chains all connected into this kind of tube like shape. So I'm gonna do a few more rows and then come back and show you how to fasten it off. So I finished making my I cord. And so when you're finished, then all you're gonna do is yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and then yarn over again and pull through the loop and then cut the yarn tail. So this is my finished eye cord. You can kind of see here how the back, um, if the tension is not right, it will start gaping. I did a pretty good job, but it's definitely something that takes a lot of practice to get better at. Then if you wanna make it as a limb, you could just use one of these tails to attach it to your piece and then weave one of the other ends in and kind of tuck in the knot. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below and I'd love to help you. Thanks for watching.